All right, lads, let's hit F5. I haven't refreshed this page ever since yesterday, so let's see what happens. It's probably gonna take a freaking while to load. Oh, gateway timeout, oh great. 12 seconds later. Oh my God, what the, uh. Okay, intro over, let's get into it. What's up guys, MJ2005 gonna here, and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys my raw reactions to the uh, Hobby Next Phase Spring Reveals. Now, well, it's switching up the code, it's just 11 a.m. So they are uh, just, uh, I don't know, tinkering around with the code, that's why it's gonna be loading that long, but High Grade After Colony, Shen Long Gundam. Finally, we can complete the Wing Gundam collection. For the first half, of course. We still have the second half to go, and we need the Ultron Gundam for that. But, one version of Nataku has finally been made into a high grade. Of course, we do get the obligatory Beam Glaive. I don't know why it's a Glaive, it's, a, it's clearly a Naginata. Oh my god, look at the articulation of this damn thing. Like, it uses the universal standards, evidently, but I believe the waist, from what they're showing here, are using some new parts or some sorts. Like... Really good back crunches. They're really advertising the crunches here. I, I I don't really know what to say about that. But all of that crunching motion benefits for posing. Like these awesome martial arts pose. You can literally take this thing, make it into a martial arts kit. <laughs> yeah, gunplay's freedom. And the extend the arm. Like how how's that gonna work? There is still that I can look at without the arm extended, of course. Because I because the I remember the old one having like this extendable arm and limiting the articulation. So I really want to see like excuse me scrolling back and forth, but I really want to see a still of the okay, yep, here is a uh, here's the full collection. It looks like I have to buy another high grade wing on them at this point. I took mine to turn it into the Enzian, if you don't remember the uh, blazing on the review. But um I don't know. I I, I still I still might just uh, 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 change the real grade to a Fellini custom, but here we finally have it, the full first half collection in high grade form. Like, uh, something that I was so cynical about is finally made into, oh god, why is it not working? <laughs> why is it not working? Eventually. Yep, it works now, it finally works now. Alright, so it works, and uh... Let just take a look at the arm over here. Yep, it looks like the same uh, The same flaws do apply. Like, the outward articulation of the extendable arm is going to be heavily limited because of the gimmicks. And other than that, there's nothing else too special about it. Like, um, yeah, it, it, it looks pretty good. Like, honestly, it does look pretty good. I like the rich blue they went for. And I believe, wow, they, they even included extra extendable bits for you to extend the arm even further. Like, realistically, I don't know how it achieves that, but all right, it's there, and you have the beam, beam glaive, and from the hands over here, it evidently tells us that it is gonna be based on the sand rocks frame. So it's not like the GN Ultron where articulation is slightly limited, especially in the legs, because it is based on the wing Gundam's frame. It's based on the sand rocks, which has amazing articulation depending on how it's used, and Oh my god, finally. Like, my OCD can be satisfied. It is going to be a September release for 1500 yen without tax, I'm guessing. So, 1650 yen with tax. And wow, finally, the Wing fans can be satisfied. Now, this also proves that the Gundam Asthma Day is not the Shenlong Gundam. Please <laughs> stop using that meme. And, ah, oh, Jesus. Like, finally, the memes can be over this year. Moving down onto the SD World Heroes stuff, we finally have a full view of the open form of the Warlock Aegis Gundam, and it looks like it has eyes everywhere. But the Warlock Aegis Gundam, we finally have some details about its release. It's going to be releasing in July 2022 for 880 yen. Just kind of stop there, my brain. But um, yeah, we, these images we've seen before, apart from... Uh, Apart from the open form, which is kind of like an homage to the Black Dragon of the Satan Gundam. So, yeah, it evidently does take some vibes from that. And because, considering that its form kind of changes apart from the open wings, 
because we do have a different reason, which I'm pretty, pretty unsure about because it honestly feels like it's going to be like a breaking hazard there. So, um, not sure what to think about that. And of course, here we have a reused asset from the last Hobby Next Phase event. And finally, we have some identity reveals for this guy right here. Um, let me, let me, I, I literally just opened this up, so let me translate it. So, it's some bloke called Rife. Because it says Rife Gundam GP04. So, uh, who the hell is Rife in Arthurian mythology, or are they gonna introduce even more mythology into, uh, Legend of the Dragon Knight, who knows. But, yep, this is indeed a GP04 with a, uh, with, uh, what is it, not Glory of Losers, uh, what is it, it kind of like a Gundam Wing Cloak, I know it's from the Sandrock, but the overall vibe is taken from, uh, what is it, Teardrops or something like that? That, that branch of, uh, of Wing Story, so the entire Gundam is fully covered edgily, how as edgy as an SD can be, and it also comes with, wow, an elaborate shield. The sword looks a little bit dinky, I'm not sure, but uh, this the shield is definitely an elaborate design. Like, I, I, I have a feeling that this thing is going to be a defender or something like that, so... Here is a 360 virtual view, of course without the cloak and without the shield. That's gonna get in the way a lot. And yeah, this thing looks okay, honestly. It looks okay. Looks okay. And moving on to the dragon, this is gonna be yeah, this is just a dragon. Like I'm not gonna bother translating that because I, I'm just gonna call it a dragon. It's gonna be an August release, so one of the only August releases thus far for Gunpla or anything at all. It's going to be front-loaded with Heat Bandai, I'm sure of that. But uh, it's going to be releasing on with uh, 770 yen. We, if we've talked about this back in November, we have hollow pieces everywhere. But it looks like it's going to have some rudimentary amounts of articulation. So you can actually bend the entire thing forwards for it to act as a mount. So this is definitely going to be coming from Night World, if you can't tell from the color scheme. But judging from this, I believe the wings are going to be clear pieces as well. So it's not going to be all that bad. Like, all of the smaller details, of course, you had to paint in, but, I yeah, the whiskers, the toes, the cross piece, and the wings are probably all gonna be, uh, all gonna be clear pieces. That's pretty nice. And because it is kind of, like, in a lighter color scheme, you can obviously paint it to whatever color scheme that you would like. But with all of the hollow pieces over here, especially in large chunks, you can definitely try your hand at epoxy putty if you haven't already and fill these gaps in before painting it into your own original color scheme or making a painted build of this thing. So look forward to August if you're interested in having kind of like a baby dragon on your collection. Oh, what the hell is this? What? <laughs> what? Okay, so they're they're gonna ruin Terminator Zhao Yun further. What what does this say? Koma, mm, what? A commando pack? A uh, commando? I I I can't I can't read it. But it's basically gonna take inspiration, or whether uh, the the Sergeant Vert Buster Gundam or even the Command Gundam above him has authorized. Zhao Yun to take a shitload of equipment into the battlefield like this I don't know what to say like my god as as if they didn't ruin his character by turning him into a blooming idiot and apparently he's gonna reappear so what's to say that the sergeant would not reappear again it's gonna be a uh, a September release for 1100 yen with tax so it's probably gonna be a thousand yen without the tax and if you've built the original one with the bike, it's basically going to be the same thing apart from the shades. So, yeah, you can... Uh, the only idea that I have here is if I put the shades on and put a red mono eye up there, then he's literally going to be the Terminator. <laughs> I'll be back. But, uh, my god. Why this equipment? It, well, a ton of hard points in the back. So, uh, fill in the hollow spaces, of course. But, these hard points. Like, is this a mask reference? <laughs> like, I, I don't know. This may be a reference to the, uh, what, IWSP pack. But, is this gonna be a mask reference? 
where he's just gonna pull extra guns out of his ass on top of the packs. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, oh my god, the, even the, the weapons are even equipable on the bike. Like seriously? Does it come with the giant speakers? Does it come with the giant speakers? I, I don't think so. I don't think it comes with the giant speakers that he attaches up to the back of his bike. So he, he ain't gonna be chaving around in England anytime soon. But, uh... Oh my god. Is this really necessary? This, this actually took me by surprise. I didn't expect them to... Uh... To revisit this... Ruined character, but... Uh... I'm so gonna hate the anime when it comes out because it's gonna get this bumbling buffoon admiring arson <laughs> and turning into an over-exaggerated child character. So I, I prefer the Soul Gets Then version more because he's more of a fighter there. Unfortunately, it had to be rushed. But, oh my god. Is that all that, is that all there is? And yep, I reloaded the page a bunch of times. The the gif on the back is changing, but nothing here is like changed. So that's all we get. So to wrap up, of course, uh one far fetch an option and one for sure option. I'm kinda surprised that they didn't decide to reveal the strike freedom. So uh um yeah, but I'm kinda happy that we that my final that my OCD can finally be satisfied with the Shenlong Gundam over here and yeah to ra <laughs> just to wrap up I've, I've rambled on for far too long but uh to wrap up high grade after colony Shenlong Gundam September release for 1650 yen with tax SD World Heroes Warlock Aegis Gundam a July release for 880 yen with tax SD World Heroes Leif Gundam GP04 for an August release for 880 yen. The Shining Grasper Dragon for an August release for 770 yen. And finally, the SD World Heroes Zhao Yun 00 Gundam Command Package for a September release for 1100 yen. And that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Tell me in the comments below what you are excited for in this batch of news. Frankly, I'm not a fan of the SD, so all I could look forward to is the Shenlong Gundam. But, um, yeah, that's basically all there is. So, um, at least the worst case scenario hasn't come to pass. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna let you go now. So thank you all so much for watching. Hit the like if you like this video. Comment down below what you're excited about. And subscribe to the channel for more Gunpla reviews and Gunpla news. So that's gonna round it out for this video. And I'll see you all in the next one.